billionaire investor Mark Cuban has lost nearly $900,000 worth of tokens over the weekend after likely clicking on a phishing link after months of inactivity. Cuban told outlet DL News the phishing attack apparently seemed to stem from a fake MetaMask wallet application that he downloaded. Cuban's wallet was drained of US pegged stablecoins, staked ETH, super rare tokens, and some ENS domains. And Ken Arad of Solidus Labs discusses the recent surge in the crypto scam known as rug pulls. Hucksters, fraudsters, scam artists, Ponzi schemes. There you have it, everybody. Hucksters, fraudsters, Ponzi schemes, scams coming at us from all over the place. Thank you for dropping into DeFi Divi. My name is Matthew. Welcome. Glad you're here. You know, on this channel, we love simple crypto passive income and we love blockchains with utility use cases and that solve business problems. If you like that type of content, subscribe here or follow me right over here at DeFi Divi on X. Nothing here is investment advice. I'm not an investment advisor, so always do your own research. Man, we are going to get into it today. We're going to talk about security. I don't you know, it's funny, this always seems like a boring topic to do, create content on, but it's so badly needed. I mean, I'm a developer. As a developer, I, I have my own scripts running in the background, sending me data, emails and data and stuff, even to my Slack channel about just third-party dependencies that some of the wallets you and I use to deploy capital to DeFi protocol. And I'll get alerts on when those apps and wallets have third-party dependencies that have vulnerabilities in them. And if they don't update those quickly enough, the, the, those wallet providers, I kind of stop, you know, consider stop using them. I kind of, I, I monitor it out and see what happens. But anyways, if you're interested in that type of content or maybe somehow getting access to that data, maybe I'll create some way to expose it. It's just for me, little side rant there. But yes, we are going to talk about some basic crypto scams today. Uh, two came up. Uh, one is a new one to me. It's an old scam with a new name. We're going to talk about that one. And then we're going to talk about a really common basic scam that people would never fall for with fiat currency, but they fall for it with cryptocurrency. It works because it's getting, it's been happening for a while because when you're new to crypto, crypto is confusing. So you don't quite understand it. But if, if you just think of it in terms of, well, would I do this with dollars? You'd, you'd, you'd be like, no, that. No, get away from me. I'm calling the police. Send a minimum of 1,000 XRP and a maximum of 500,000 XRP to the address listed on the website. Within less than a minute, you will receive back double the XRP that you sent to the same wallet you sent from. This giveaway is our way of giving back to the community that has stood by us, believed in our vision, and held XRP through thick and thin. We are here because of you, and we want to ensure that you share in our success. As we continue to unlock new potentials and reach new frontiers, we are more committed than ever to fostering a community where everyone thrives. Thank you for being a part of this journey, and here's to many more milestones together. So there you have it. Pretty scary. The first time I saw that, I have to admit, I knew I could tell by the mouth. Um, I couldn't tell by the voice so much because both those are AI generated. I could tell by the pixels around the mouth that that this was a deep fake. The voice was pretty impressive, the, the, the tonality and everything. When I saw it, my stomach kind of sank. I was like, oh man, YouTube, I can't believe you're letting this air. And then not even a month, I think we're almost going on a month now. That thing still airs every day as an ad comes up as an ad on my channel. You may have even seen it before you clicked here today. I also see one going around the same deep fake with Vitalik Buterin. So there's an Ethereum one going around now too. Um, but this is the scam I was talking about earlier where just, just think about fiat currency uh, when you hear about this scam. Now, if I was to put out a video and say, hey, why don't you uh, write me a check for $1,000 and I'll send you back a check for $100,000. You'd, you'd be like, oh, God, Divi, you need to get your life together. Or, you know, hey, why don't you Venmo me $20 and I will Venmo you back 600000 You would just know, even if the numbers are a little more realistic, like, hey, Venmo me $100 and I'll Venmo you 500 back. 
you'd still kind of go, wait, how does, what? No, that doesn't pan out. That's not sustainable. There's no, that's just too good to be true, right? So for some reason, this one's been working in crypto. And here's the thing, just don't do it. Don't do it. And the same applies to airdrops. If you see an airdrop that says you have to move your XRP from this wallet to this wallet to get it, and that other wallet is not your own wallet, don't do it. Who cares about the airdrop? Just keep your XRP safe and sound. Wait for the automated market maker to put it to work. If you uh, believe in uh, Flare Networks and you're into that project, I like them. Put some to work when F assets go live as well there. It's just another option to consider. There are ways to get crypto passive income without, uh, you know, getting airdrops and having, and, and if you have to move your XRP, the main point is if you have to give your XRP to someone to qualify for an airdrop, don't do it. It's a scam. So keep that in mind. Very, uh, you know, it, it just, it's, it, it works for some reason. I've seen this scam going out for probably six years now, different variations of it. And now that we have deep fakes, making it look like Brad Garlinghouse is saying, hey, Send, <laughs> send Ripple your XRP and Ripple will send you more. No, they're not going to do it because that's not, that's a scam. That is a deep fake. So here's another scam going around. This is funny because this reminds me as an entrepreneur, one of the first ventures I ever launched was back in 2004 was an online dating site. And I launched the same years, Plenty of Fish and uh, OkCupid. I made some huge uh, mistakes in SEO. I didn't look and research that enough, and uh, they did really well on that, and I got schooled. Someone got married off my site, which was cool, but overall, it flopped. The point is, running an online dating site, I got very familiar with this scam, but th it, there's a new, I guess there's a new word for it, and it's called pig butchering, and I saw this on uh, this article here, uh, and I quote, this is from a couple days ago, Tether worth $9 million tied to pig butchering scams is seized by the U.S. DOJ. Uh, and I quote, the seizure comes after agents and analysts from the U.S. Secret Service trace victim deposits that were laundered through several cryptocurrencies, a technique, a technique the DOJ described as chain hopping. Yeah, so money laundering. Pig butchering is a scam that involves luring victims in with traditional romance scams. The victims are often requested to send cryptocurrencies overseas. Yeah. And I, and, and as someone who not only ran an online dating site, uh, but also used to do some online dating, I would see these scams come in all the time. You just get, you know, usually shows up in the form of your, uh, you know, perhaps a 50, 60, 70 year old guy. And you're getting a picture of a 19 year old in a hot bikini who's typing like someone from, um, <laughs> who doesn't speak English very well. You can just tell. And it says something, you can just tell. You can tell just by looking at the text that one or two, three texts later is going to be asking for your credit card number back then. Now they're telling you to send cryptocurrency and all kinds of variation romance scams. You have to be careful because both these scams, the, um, the, uh, you know, send money to this wallet and get more back scam. And this, uh, that one's just playing on our greed and our confusion about cryptocurrency. This one is playing on your desire to hook up and, and, and fall in love. So it's even a harder emotion to check. You know, if you're not aware, if you're new to online dating or, you know, if you, if you're maybe feeling desperate, it's tricky. So it's a tricky one to watch out for. Scammers prey on this stuff because they know, you know, you just, they know that people will fall for it. Some people will fall for it. A small enough percentage. It's like spam. You know, you send out 1 million of those things and maybe 10,000 of them or 5,000 of them will fall for it. And that's a probably a good ROI. So it's a very small percentage, but that small percentage of people, it's still working. And so we just have to become aware of these types of things. So if anyone's asking for money on a dating site or something like that, just be like, no, no, let's meet for, uh, <laughs> the way I used to screen those out when it was questionable, and usually it's never questionable, you can tell right away. 
uh, most of the time. But for those of you who can't, you know, I just, I always is like, you know what? I'm not going to spend a lot of time dating on, uh, sending messages back and forth, I should say, on this dating site. So my first message might be, hey, blah, blah, blah. And my second one is great, great, whatever. Let's meet here for a drink or meet here for coffee. And just kind of really nice, funly, maybe throw a joke in there. If they're not willing to meet you in person pretty quickly, just get out of there. Don't even spend a lot of time there. And if you're definitely having a, a uh, pen pal relationship and they're asking you to send money, you are probably being scammed. 99% chance. I'm pulling the 99% number out of thin air, but there's probably a good chance. So don't fall for it, everybody. If you're interested in more content on security, let me know in the contents. Both scams and security are hugely important. It's part of, you know, dodging this stuff is part of us getting to the outcomes that we love so much, which is obviously financial freedom and just having the freedom to do what we want. You create what we want, build what we want, and work for who we want. Okay, everybody, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this video finds you well. I'll see you in the next one.